I don't think it's that hard. I think all you have to do is feed them twice a day. I don't know, you water them. Is that all you do with babies? Yeah. Yeah. Be okay. This came so suddenly. <laughs> Babies, who needs them? The world, actually. Okay, whatever, sure. Technically, we like need babies to like continue society. Babies are super expensive, they're very needy, they're mean. Like sure, they're cute and all, but like they're kind of hard to work with. What is it like to be a parent? I've always wanted to be a mom and I just get the opportunity to have someone and then raise her and love her and pour everything into her. The one thing that makes me nervous about it is just like some of the challenges. Babies throw tantrums. So Sydney, she's 20 months now and mm -hmm. so and she's very independent, she's really trying to like find her way around the world. She can't fully articulate what she wants um, a little bit, but if, when she can't, she cries. You know, babies will let you know when something isn't right. What do you think I'm gonna struggle with? I think in the very beginning when I'm leaving, she may wonder, where's mom? And she may cry around that time. You know, you take the good with the not so great yes. and you just kind of roll with it. I think the rewards far outweigh the things that are stressful. Shanique, we're going, we're ready. Yes, are um, you ready? I, I, th I think so. I get to leave work early, so that's that's a good, that's a plus. You leave one job to go to another job, it's and like that a... is being a dad. Okay, well, any advice before I do this? Um, just, you know, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Okay. All right, so we just got Sydney. Can you say hi, Sydney? Say hi, Sydney. Hi! She's not interested in saying hi now, but we're gonna get her in the car seat here. She may just like drop in and sit and just be all like compliant. Other times she's gonna like stand and not wanna sit. It'll take some time to get her in there. I was expecting her to be very frantic because Shanique warned me that there would be tantrums, but it was super easy. Sydney was very docile. She was adorable. She was super sweet. I put her in the car. It was no big deal. She got in. Now we're gonna go grocery shopping. Okay. <laughs> She hopped in the cart. It was super simple. We were walking around. We're gonna go grocery shopping. You got it? You okay? So Shanique got me this handy dandy grocery list. Sydney's being very good, and this is so far so good. She was a great helper. Anytime I handed her an item, she would put it right back in the basket for me. She was like the best. You like the raspberries? Yes. Awesome. Good job, Sydney. You like the mangoes? Yeah? Wanna toss it in? Good job, all right. Going into this, I was like, I am not a baby person. I think that they are very difficult, but this first hour with Sydney was amazing. I felt like I am the best dad in the world. And then I tried to put her in the car after the grocery store and we had tantrum number one. Okay, so we just left the grocery store. <laughs> Sydney, it'll be okay. She's a little anxious. I think she's ready to eat. All right. Oh, wait, well, no, wait. Sydney, you can't stand. Wait, Sydney. Sydney, okay. I know, I know, but we have to get in the seat. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sydney. I know. We're gonna have some snacks. We're gonna have snacks, okay? I'm gonna have some snacks. I know, I know. I know. She just started screaming and I couldn't get her in the car. She was kicking to try to get back. Like, I don't know what happened. Sydney was just not having it. And I was like, we've been together for two hours and you're already doing the most. You want a snack? I had no idea what I was doing. It's very frustrating because they can't communicate with you, so they're frustrated. You can't communicate with them, so you're frustrated. This was like the first challenge where I didn't know what to do, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be quite the battle. We're just not getting home. Sydney, can we can we go inside? No. Okay, yep, this is tantrum too, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay, Sydney. Sydney, we're gonna wash our hands. We're gonna grab some soap. No, it's okay. Okay, this is, we're gonna eat though. I know, Sydney, it'll be okay. I know, I know, but can I wash it? We sit down and we eat dinner with Sydney. You wanna start with the grapes? That's okay, I'm gonna do it. It's okay, no. I'm gonna get some strawberries ready for you, okay? Enjoy it, let me know if you need anything. I don't know babies talk Things move very quickly when you have a baby. Toddlers, they, okay, okay, she needs me now. Here we go. Just add a little spill. Say thank you. 
I didn't realize how much of a mess babies would be. She just kind of kept putting her fingers and everything and taking it off of her plate, throwing it on the ground. This is where I'm leaning back on the meter of like, I don't know if kids are for me. It's getting ready for bedtime. It's, it's around 7.45. Yeah. It's hard for me to go to sleep, so I can only imagine a right. child being right. like, no, I'm not doing this. Right. Oh, especially right. 8.30, that seems so early. I mean, it's early when you think about all the other things you need to do. I mean, because at this point, I, I've given you a list. I haven't shared anything about you. No. You haven't even gone to the bathroom yet. By this point, it's about seven o'clock and Sydney is full of energy. She wants to run around and play games. We sat down and had an adorable moment. Um, we had tea parties, we read books, we played with several different dolls, but it was exhausting. They're not letting up at all. Um, Sydney w had so much energy. She would play with a toy for two seconds, run over here and jump on a trampoline for two seconds, run into her room, and it was just like, she was all over the place. By this point, it's 8.30, and I've done literally nothing for myself. So you're tired, she's clearly tired, but she doesn't want to go to bed, and it's just like the most frustrating thing in the world. All right, Sydney ready to get dressed? Yeah. Let's do this. Wait. <laughs> Finally, Shanique has to come help me again to get Sydney into her bed because she was not having it. But then I still have to clean up the dishes from Sydney. I still have to make sure her meals are ready for the next day. I still have to get all of her clothes ready. And I'm just like, this is hard. It's so hard. I set an alarm for six o'clock because I knew that Sydney usually wakes up between 6.30 and seven. Um, I wake up and I don't hear Sydney crying, so I'm like, perfect, fine, I'm gonna go back to sleep. And then I sleep through my second alarm, and then I wake up and Sydney is like ready to go. She's ready for breakfast, she's hungry, she's running around, she has tons of energy. And I'm like, how are we doing this? It's Saturday, all I wanna do is be in my bed and then sleep until three. Woke up a little bit late for breakfast. Um, I started to make waffles, but didn't plug in the oven. Good start. We get Sydney's breakfast together. Um, we just cut up food and like, I didn't realize how much babies eat. Like Sydney was like going at it and then she's like more, more strawberries. And like, you just constantly have to keep going and keep thinking ahead. We got breakfast started. Looks like it's going well. Did you drop these plates in the cup in the, oh, what? Why are you doing that? One area that I really enjoyed about being a dad for a day was getting to pick out Sydney's outfits. I'm thinking like having her like Northwest. I want her to look like Little Blue Ivy. Like I am super excited to pick out her clothes, but I didn't think about the weather at first. So I pick out t-shirts and then Sneak's like, no, you can't, you can't put her in t-shirts. It's gonna be 50 degrees tomorrow. I forgot like weather and babies have like, I don't know, sensitivity to cold. Okay, Sydney, it's time for music class. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this, we can, I know. I know, but you're gonna dance and sing. So we're gonna turn this off for now. Ready? Ready? Okay. Okay. We're going to music class. So do you wanna play? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, I see you're playing, Sydney. I see. Thank you. <laughs> Sydney falls asleep on the way back from music class and I just pick her up out of the car seat and we have this really precious moment. Oh wait, so nap time for one to two hours, great. Yes. So I get a nap. You okay. should, yeah, okay. you should. You keep saying should. <laughs> yeah, because you just never know, you just have to be prepared. Don't bank on something happening because it's very fluid. Sydney is resting in her TP. That was the smoothest transition to bed I think I've ever seen. I think Gold Star. I'm gonna be quiet so she stays asleep. It ended up being a mistake because Sydney wakes up 30 minutes later and she's like ready to eat and she's like, where's my food? So we woke up from a nap, now we're gonna have a little lunch. We had a little mini nap, so we're gonna have to take another longer nap after this. Are you okay for nap time after this? No, you're busy eating. I don't know why I'm talking to you. <laughs> eating with Sydney is always an adventure. All of her food ended up either on her body or on the floor. I hang out with Sydney a little bit and I keep trying to get her to go back down for a nap. I want Sydney to nap so I can nap, but she's not giving me any type of a break. And since she didn't want to go to nap, we just went to the park. This is probably my favorite part. Hanging out with a toddler for 24 hours, you really can see how they see the world. It was little moments like that. It started to sit in like in the last couple of hours where I was like, this is the fun part of it, being a parent is that you get to kind of relive your childhood through someone else and you get to see how smart and talented and cool your toddler is. Where's Sydney? 
Whoa! There are times where things will be easy and fun and there are times when things will be a bit challenging. You take the good with the not so great yeah. and you just kind of roll with it. I think the rewards far outweigh the things that are stressful. Here we go. This is so much easier than last time. This is a major improvement. I'm not that much of a planner, so it's really hard to deal with a kid who just completely needs you and you have to think about all the things they need on top of all the things you need. It made me appreciate growing up so much and all the sacrifices my mom made for me. It's a tough job and there are a lot of people out there who want to do it. I just don't happen to be one of them. <laughs>